Well guys, I think it's finally time to tell you about the project I'm working on with my daughter. We're opening a coffee house. Our search for a coffee house, a place to start a business, started probably six months ago. And it wasn't until this moment back in January when I found this space that seemed like maybe it would be a good fit that we decided to pop on this business. After taking a look, we both agreed that it had potential. My love for coffee started over 28 years ago when I was a barista working in a local coffee shop. It's actually where I met my husband, Dave, and that love for coffee was in Belle's blood. After her own stint as a barista, she had the dream of starting a coffee house too, just like I did all those years ago. So here we are. <laughs> this is our dream coming true together. Our vision for Bell's Coffee House is a place where people can come in and slow down, enjoy an amazing specialty cup of coffee with yeah. elevated customer service and a place that makes you want to stay a while. It's happening! So we just got the keys and we're going to transform it into Bell's Coffee House. So Belle and I are working on this together. Huge project, big, big, like I don't know what I'm doing here. Neither does she. We're going to just give it a, give it a go. It's, it's really exciting. There's a lot of, lot of stuff, so much to do. So here is the space. It's actually really big. We're gonna have plenty of room to build this place out. The coffee counters go on here, little kitchen area, but it's, it's big. A couple bathrooms. Getting ready to do some work here. Taking a look at the space, we have a lot of decisions to make. And one of the first ones is, where is the actual counter space gonna go? This took a lot of discussion, a lot of figuring out flow and how things are gonna work with what we wanna do. I've never tackled a business project to this scale. I've, I'm more of a DIY kind of business girl, and I guess that still applies here. We plan on doing most of the work ourselves. Oh, that's so nice. So much work. We have so much work to do. But we got kind of an idea of the layout, yeah. and we can go from there. I think it would be nice to have like a, um, like shelves right in here. Yeah. It was time to make it official. Yay, DBA. With the DBA and business account out of the way, we were now ready to start picking up some equipment that we needed. That was an adventure, always an adventure, getting all these heavy appliances down the ramps, it. through the doors and into the space. Now comes the fun part, all the demolition. There was quite a bit to deal with in this space and every inch was going to be remodeled. There was many layers of wallpaper, paneling, slat board, you name it. We had to get it all down and make decisions about what we were gonna do in the remodel. I'm in the middle of it. This is going to be our kitchen. It's getting cleared out. <laughs> Bell's having fun destroying stuff today. Yay! It's going to be amazing. We got some equipment already. We found this second hand, but it was new. Got a sandwich prep table, second hand works great. Came with all the, the goodies. And we got some under counter fridges. Very exciting. 
all stainless steel and beauteous. Got another little freezer here that we had at home that we weren't using. Cool beans. Yeah, it's just... So this is our idea for the ceiling. Let's replace this whole ceiling with this plywood. It's Luan, really. It's, it's just utility Luan, but it, you know, it's got a really beautiful uh, wood texture. We tried both sides. We think we're just gonna get a stain that matches like this color and go with that, but man, it's a huge job. But it's gonna really transform the look of this place. It's gonna look beautiful. It's kind of the only thing we can think of doing with this drop ceiling. There's not a lot of options to make a drop ceiling look good. And up above this ceiling is, is, is a no-go. Like we're not changing, we, we can't do anything with it. So this is the solution. I think it's gonna work. It was time to head to Menards, do a little gazing at some light fixtures, but really we needed to get to work needed 52 sheets of this Luan, and it took some doing just to pick out the best ones. All right, so we are three weeks into our lease and it just feels like everything has just been, I mean, I wanted this to go faster. <laughs> We've been so stuck on the paperwork so far. Uh, we're just turning it in today. Um, dealing with the health department and the food code and all of that has kind of been difficult so far and we're just getting started. But they want you to know absolutely all your equipment, where everything is gonna go. They want your menu, they want your recipe. Like, it's crazy. You have to know all of that before you can do any of the construction. So in the meantime, while we have submitted that paperwork finally today, and we're buttoning up a few more things they have requested, you know, it's going to be working on the periphery of this building um, before all the espresso and plumbing and stuff comes in. So. While we wait for the go-ahead, for the thumbs up from the health department, we have all of this work to do. We're making progress with all of our stuff that we've had to figure out. <laughs> We're learning this as we go. It's been crazy. So right now I'm working on the ceilings, getting these all replaced. There's 165 of these tiles that I have to put in place, but it's really gonna make this place looks so nice when it's done to have all plywood. Now our electrician's gonna come in and gonna put all these stupid LED lights on a dimmer. So at nighttime, we'll be able to dim this place down so it's not like a supermarket. <laughs> so we're getting all of our appliances. We had to know all this stuff in advance. And I think we have finally figured out the layout of the kitchen. And so we have a prep, sandwich prep here. This table's gotta go back. I've got to fix stuff here. Um, three compartment sink. We're gonna have a fridge here, another table. There's gonna be a hand wash sink on this side with this counter, our main counter we have out here on the floor. This thing is going away and this has plumbing and electrical in it as well. It's just, a big, big job, but we're making progress one little thing at a time. So that is the state of things. I'm gonna get to work on this ceiling. Hope to make some progress today. And it's supposed to be so nice this week. It's gonna be really hard to be in here working.
<laughs> I need some footage too. I'm Get getting time lapse of this. I know. And you're in it. No, I'm not. Touch my jaw too much. Don't do that. Sorry. It's kind of a giant load, don't you think? Seriously. Well, it's finally done. The whole ceiling is done. I think it turned out so good. Looks so much better than that stupid acoustic tile drop ceiling. And now we can start working on everything else. The walls, the walls, the walls. Yeah. Looks great. Long ways to go, but good progress so far. So keep watching. And if you want to see my daughter's perspective of this, she actually started a YouTube channel too, The Last Whipple to join YouTube. I'll put the link to her channel below and also follow us on Instagram at Bell's Coffee House. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, guys. This is Girl in the Woods. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get coffee. Get happy.